It's the Caves and Cliffs update. <coughs> All right, welcome guys to actually a commentary video. And as you can see, I don't have my face cam app right now. That's because, uh, yeah. So if you didn't know, the Minecraft live stream was uh, about four days ago when recording this. It'll be a week ago when you see this. If you're not watching in the future, because then I don't know how long it would be actually. But if you don't know what Minecraft Live is, it's a live stream every year to inform players about the next Minecraft update and other things like bedrock and dungeons and education edition and yeah that that's boring stuff i don't we want to talk about the fun stuff on this channel all right so if you know what minecraft is you probably know that half of the name is mine but we don't got a whole lot of interesting things in the mines in minecraft so they finally introduced us to the caves and cliffs update uh, which will be 1.17 and they said it was going to come in the summer of 2021 which I think is pretty good because then they have some time to make stuff yeah so the only thing that people knew was going to happen on this live stream before it even happened was the mob vote which happens every year where players get to vote for what they want to be in the game in uh, three different options and this time it was between the moobloom the isolager and the glow squid and uh, well the moobloom is just a cow with flowers on top isolager is this badass looking villager who probably lives in the cliffs which would make sense to put in this update and then there's the glow squid which is just a glowing squid the glow squid won and I, yeah I'm, I'm very disappointed in this community I don't know what to say I'll blame it all on dream if you follow my Twitter you will see that I had a bit of a debate against dream and mr. beast during the live stream but let's not go over that so what's new in this update anyway well there's new caves of course uh, there will be small caves and there will be big, big caves and uh, actually, according to a post I saw on Reddit, uh, we will be getting a higher amount of uh, cave spawning, what is that called? Like world height, but underground. So we will probably get a lot of more world height, uh, so we can have a lot more caves, which I think is very good. And some caves will even be full of vegetation, for example, the lush cave which is a cave that you will be finding under the roots of trees uh, and they have lots of vegetation and a new mob called axolotl which is uh, yeah they describe it as the cutest predator in the game which is well kind of a good explanation to it all then there's the dripstone cave which is a big cave uh, i think it's pretty deep down and it has these this uh, what is that word what have i written here stalactites stalactites does that sound good stalactites yeah there we go that's the word they got a lot of stalactites in the roof which can fall down and deal damage when touched and it even works when they're on the ground so i think we may be getting a new kind of uh, mob farm a new way to farm mobs basically and then there's the deepest dark which will be about a bedrock level and all the forms of life down in the deepest dark have adapted to the dark so there's this new block called the skulk sensor which basically reacts to vibrations in the closest few blocks of the skulk sensor and it reacts by sending a redstone signal which means we will be getting wireless redstone and even though i don't do that much redstone anymore i think this is very awesome there's also a new mob in the deepest dark which is called the warden and it's a big like iron golem thing but it's blind and only reacts 
to vibrations in the closest area. So in the preview of the warden you can see that you can use snowballs to lure the warden to different places. So you can like sneak to another place or something, I don't know. And they only mentioned a few things about the mountains, but we're gonna go through the... Well, the few things. So they have announced that there are gonna be mountains with the tree line. Uh, so basically we're gonna get these uh, high snowy mountains with no trees on top, which I think will look pretty neat. And then there's the goat, which will spawn in mountain areas, and they deal lots of knockback. So, I don't know, will netherite armor actually have a real use? Because they have this uh, knockback resistance. I don't think it'll matter that much, but we'll see. And then there's a few new items uh, that just, well, they don't really attach to anything which is the telescope uh, the bundle which is a backpack and there's these uh, lightning poles I, I don't know what they're called and then there's a few new ores actually which we haven't got in uh, like what is that 10 versions or something when was the last time we saw a new ore introduced into this game? Except for a netherite, that one doesn't really count because it's not in the overworld. One of the new ores is copper, which can be used to make roofs, which will actually oxidize. That's how you say it, right? They will become green, so like the, the roofs will be green and yeah. It actually looks kind of good with stone bricks. I saw that in the preview, so that will maybe be used for different pattern style builds with stone bricks. I don't know, I'm not much of a builder myself, but we'll see. And then there's the crystal ore, which is, well, not really an ore, but it's a thing that you can find underground, so I'll count it as an ore. So in these little rooms, which are, well, as big as a spawner room, but round and with a special block that you can't really transport anywhere. When you break it, it will just disappear and these blocks will grow crystals on them. And I think you can make the crystals into telescopes, but there will probably be other uses for them because I don't see really why you would need a telescope when you got Optifine. And then we have a new mechanic, which is archaeology, which is, uh, well, it's just archaeology. Uh, you will use a new item called the brush. Uh, and what you can do with the brush is just to brush different blocks like gravel and dirt and find valuables. And in the preview, uh, they found like diamond blocks and stuff like that but i think that's gonna change it it probably won't be that easy to find diamonds in the future and well i think these updates are really cool because we really need some more things in the caves and we need some more in the cliffs Th those are kind of the lame parts of the game right now so I can really see Mojang making something big about this update. But yeah, if you have enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. I don't know, am I going to make these kind of outros anymore? I actually have no idea. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna think about it. Outro.